welcome back to my film and TV channel. You're all staying safe and well. And we're going over to, yes, um, sometimes with trepidation over recent years, we've gone over to these Adam Sandler productions, of course, under Happy Madison Productions. Uh, and uh, yes, the last one I did, uh, check that out. I can't remember the name of it now. I'm sorry, guys. I've not even, I've had a quick look round. I can't remember what it's called. But the last one I looked at was quite good, actually. So uh, this is an animated effort, uh, the second dedicated animated effort. I think from Happy Madison. I'm happy to say I was, you know, I'll tell you that now. I was, I was quite happy with this one. I was, happy Madison made me made me a little bit happy. So uh, perhaps they're on a roll. So long may it continue. I'm going to have a look at something simply entitled Leo. Please, if you're new to the channel, push that subscribe button, push the bell notifications, everything film and TV. It'd be great to have your thoughts and comments on this film or anything to do with film and tell. It doesn't matter what it is. If you've got a chance just to give us a little like, guys, it's always much appreciated. Give us a thumbs up. And of course, uh, if you do comment, I will try and respond when it needs a response. If it just needs me to give you a thumbs up, but I will do so accordingly. So yeah, so let's have a look at Leo. 102 minutes, which yeah, a little bit long. A little bit long, even though, as I said, I did quite enjoy this. But again, I'm happy with these animations and these films to be around about 90 minutes. So yeah, a little bit too long. A PG rating, which um, again... Probably got away with a U for this. You don't tend to put U on much these days, do they? But I don't, I'm not too sure where the PG comes from, but playing safe, I suppose. And it's an animated musical, although that's debatable. There's not a lot of music. Not, there, is, there is, but nothing nothing much to shout home about in this one to, to detract from the story. A musical comedy film directed by Robert Marionetti, Robert Schmeagel and David Watchtenheim. Written by Schmeagel, Adam Sandler and Paul Sado and produced by Sandler and Marella Saria. And this is put, as I mentioned there, as his second animated feature uh, from Happy Madison Productions and it stars of course, Adam, in the titular voice role, yes, he, he likes the sound of his own voice, our Adam, doesn't he? Alongside Bill Burr and Cecily Strong. Yes, uh, Leo was released on Netflix. Yes, so this is a Netflix production, November the 21st. All these comments and scores I'm going to give you is it November the 23rd, 2023. Rotten Tomatoes, they like it. 44 critics, 77% positivity, averaging 6.5 out of 10. That's 34 fresh and just 10 rotten. The consensus, slick animation, catchy songs. Yeah, short and sweet, that's what we want. And some winning voice work from a cast led by Adam Sandler helped Leo strike an uneasy balance between satirical and sweet. Yes, it throws, it's like a, it's like a machine gun, it's... <laughs> with the chat and the ver with the verbal diarrhea, but uh, mainly it works, so I'm fine with it. Metacritic, the other site we'll look at, 66 out of 100, so still good. That's based on 13 critics. Eight were positive, four were mixed, and one was negative. About the audience, well, the audience where it all matters, isn't it? 93% Rotten Tomatoes audience, all good, 4.5 out of 5. Internet Movie Database, 2,000 scores and reviews as I'm doing this, 7.1 out of 10. All good. And Metacritic users there, watchers, uh, 6.8 out of 10. So it's all averaging between uh, at worst 6.8 and at best, of course, uh, well, 9 out of 10 if you look at Rotten Tomatoes audience. So that brings me on to my little thoughts, guys, for what they're worth. And I think you get the gist that I like this one. This never really stops or takes a breath. Yeah, Adam at his very, very best. The songs are okay, fortunately not too long. So that's all good. And I do like a good stop, get me wrong. You know me, I love musical theatre. But the, so the songs are the most toe-tapping and uh, humming along that you can think of. The almost non-stop chatter throughout may annoy some. It doesn't annoy me. Because uh, uh, overall the humour generally works from from uh, not... not well, yeah, it's more poignant moments as well in this. Uh, you know, I've done really, really well amidst the machine gun type uh, rat -tat -tat of uh, characters chatting, etc. And the humour at times, yes, it can, it can be uh, whoopee cushion, it can be sort of fart, fart joke type things, because it's Adam Sandler, but uh, uh, it's there, but uh, it sort of works on other scales as well. And it's an, for me, it's an ideal family film for all the ages, from, from the youngsters to, to the grown-ups, because there's stuff we like that the youngsters won't and vice versa uh, and that's for me the best family entertainment lots of do's and don'ts uh, for kids and perhaps adults alike as well, adults as well but uh, not too preachy never forgets it's just a film and it's there for entertainment it's not there to tell us what we should be doing or not doing in life 
It is all, as I said, looks a little bit too long. I think if not 10 or 15 minutes off it, it would have been far better. And the great characters, great characters in this, specifically Sandler's character of Leo, very, very funny. And he's hoppo hoppo in the old a avia, is it an avia? Not an avia, that's where birds stays, the vivarium or whatever it's called, where they, they stick the stick the animals. So that's two Sandler films I've watched recently that I've liked, so please keep it up, Happy Madison. That's all I can say. I thoroughly enjoyed this, uh, a great little watch on Netflix. Hey, subscribe to Netflix anyway. It's nice when you get something that you can watch and enjoy. So, yeah, my scores, I'm going to be fresh if it was Rotten Tomatoes. I'm going to be positive if it was Metacritic. And I'm going to give this a very healthy, yes, a little bit higher than some. I'm going to give it 7 out of 10 because I found it thoroughly entertaining. And I say, I wasn't even put off by uh, by songs that didn't uh, didn't last long in the memory. I don't can't remember any of them, you know, today after watching it yesterday. But uh, yeah, seven out of ten for me. Let me know what you think, guys. It'd be great to hear from you. Is it Eddie back? Is Mr. Madison? Mr. Adam? I, I always like Adam Sandler. It? Some of his but some of his stuff has been dross, hasn't it? Let's be honest about it. But is he back? Is he back with a bang now? As I said, that's two films on the trot I've enjoyed. I should keep my fingers crossed when I say that, shouldn't I? Anyway, let me know what you think, guys. Great to hear from you. Till we meet again, that's one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, everybody. Bye for now.